Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just walking along the Calden Canal near Hanley in Stoke-on-Trent. It's really nice to be back up here in the Staffordshire moorlands. Um, used to live in Leek, now I live in Buckinghamshire again, so it's nice to come visit. Now this isn't quite the walk along the canal it seems. Firstly we have a rather interesting lifting bridge and then this um, doesn't so much seem like Stoke-on-Trent, it more seems like somewhere in East Germany or Russia or somewhere when you come along here and uh, there just happens to be a Wartburg and two Larders parked here. You're probably thinking what's going on? Well that's actually my car so admittedly I did just walk along the canal and came back just for the purpose of starting this video. So we're um, on the IFA Club's road run around Stoke-on-Trent and we're eventually going to go around South Cheshire. We were at Apedale this morning so if you want to have a look at that video look at the link on screen now. We all set off on a road run and unfortunately in the Newcastle area some traffic lights basically cut us off so we kind of lost the convoy. So what we've done we've taken a shortcut and um, we're going to hang around here and at some point in the next 10 minutes now now there's a Barkus coming up the hill and uh, and yeah loads of Eastern Bloc cars so let's just stand here and watch this this is going to be good Well, it was great seeing all those Trabants going up, oh, one's going back, um, they, they've turned around now, so they're coming back over the bridge. So all I'm going to have to do, I'm going to get in my larder and um, we're going to follow them. Hopefully that we won't get cut off this time by traffic lights, but you know, it's been quite good in a way that we did get cut off by traffic lights. Um, my larder's going without me by the look of it, it's alright, my dad's driving, it's not rolling away. More Trabants, more Trabants. So um, we'll just see this lot go by and I'm going to jump in. That's a Moscovitz, pretty rare in the UK. The other lard that's joining us, a Neva. And there's a Yugo coming as a Starva, a Yugoslavian car, people's car in the Wolfsburg estate. Right, I'm going to jump in now, so let's go. <laughs> Jumping in the larder, yeah. Looking down the hill, you can just see the lineup going down there. So we're going to leave. We'll go. Yeah, go. Yeah. Leave this rather unusual bridge behind us. We're going to leave the rather unusual canal lifting bridge behind us and um, we're going to follow the convoy. That Peugeot's not part of our convoy. Um, we're going to follow the convoy. I think the Peugeot thinks this is a genuine traffic jam. I don't even realise if you can just overtake and uh, we're all waiting to go. So let's um, go around Stoke-on-Trent. I have arrived here at the Gladstone Pottery Museum. We haven't actually got time to go in the museum, but that's what those um, kilns are. Quite an interesting backdrop, so we'll have a quick look at the cars on the road run, and then we'll go around the front and see the museum. So, the tram is there, they're the four-stroke Trabants. 
my larder. Admittedly, it's not in the space, but um, I just parked it here because I wanted that backdrop. Two Wartburgs. It looks as though they're actually starting to build another kiln here, and you can see that the you know, it's starting to slant inwards because when you actually get close to these kilns, see how um, it looks very funny looking up there. So it looks like um, a, a chimney that's somehow gone a bit wonky. So, yeah, this is Barkus, so that's uh, quite an interesting vehicle. Zafrajet. These, these, these Travants, these three here, these are the original two stroke Travants. That KA is not with us. Uh, there's the Moscovich, there's a Stava, and other cars that aren't with us. You know, there's another, um, what's it called, Wartburg State. And uh, let's go this way. Nice little Polsky Fiat. And the Larder Neva. And um, another Larder. So you may recognise some of these cars that have been in my videos before, especially when we went up to the northeast. We made a few videos um, the other IFA weekend. I just want to have a quick look around here. I haven't got long. Um, so I haven't got time to go into the Industrial Museum. But I thought we'd just go up to the front door just to see what there is. And, you know, at some point in the future, maybe we'll come back and do a video on this. But I um, haven't really got time to include it this weekend. But it'd be a shame to not have a quick look. So I've heard a lot of good stuff about this museum. I've been told it's really good. So, you know, I'm sure we'll come here at some point in the future. So, um, let's go. So here's the entrance. Oh, these Look at these, these giant insulators. Because, of course, they are pottery. So this is the... Oh, look at them. They're massive. You wouldn't know. You see these up on pylons. But they don't look that big. But look, look. It's massive. It's massive compared to me. They are pretty big. So, yeah, that's the museum, which, as I said, I um, haven't got time to go to today, but, you know, I've been told it's very good, so do come and visit them. I'm going to go back to the car, and um, we're going to soon begin the next stage of our road run around the Potteries.
in this way. <laughs> How's that for a lineup of Eastern Bloc cars? We've just arrived here at Keel Hall. This is Keel University. The whole university campus surrounds us. We've got this amazing Keel Hall, and we've parked our cars in front of it. We've got my Lada with various Trabants, um, Moscovich, there's a Polsky Fiat, there's a Barkus on the end. So I think it's a really nice lineup. I'm really pleased to see this. And um, we seem to be missing a couple. There was a couple of other Ladas, so. Even if they've taken a wrong turning, or I don't know, maybe they've wanted to go somewhere else. So there might be more cars arriving. Not so short at this stage, but um, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, this is... I really like it here. I've, never, I've heard of Keel University and you know, knew about it was just the university near Stoke-on-Trent, but I've never ever been here. So yeah, here we are, Keel University. What a great place to end the video. I'm going to hang around, see if any other cars arrive first, and um, yeah, see, see what goes on. It's going to be an interesting afternoon. So here we are, still at Keel Hall. All the cars are gone, we've all moved off to another car park. We're going to have dinner in the, in the pub in the university. But as soon as we're here, I thought the way I'd finish this video is just show you a little bit of the grounds because I went and had a look around there and I thought, wow, these gardens are amazing. I cannot possibly not include them in the video. So admittedly, I don't know a lot about Keel Hall, other than to me, it looks just like um, you know, a Jacobean country house. It's a very beautiful building. So, yeah, this is not, not going to go too much into history because I, I, I literally don't know any history about it other than that it's a hall and it's become university. But I can show you it for its architectural merit and its beauty. Look at that, what a fantastic building. As you come into university here, um, whether you actually, actually have any lectures in the building, I'm not sure. It's probably more the more posher things that go on there, you know, like maybe graduation, I don't know. Lovely roses, nice rose garden they've got here. So yeah, this is Keel Hall. And then you can see out to the countryside. We are literally just outside Newcastle under Lyme. So what well, it appears we are out in a rural countryside area. We are not that far from an urban area. So really that concludes today's video with the IFA Club and our road run. Started over at Apedale. Had an interesting trip around, um, we even went into Shropshire briefly. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And from the gardens at Keel Hall, goodbye.